Raider motherfucking nation. Wait, dude. How y'all feeling in this motherfucker, man? I know a lot of motherfuckers is mad right now. I know a lot of motherfuckers is off that shit. A lot of motherfuckers is angry. I ain't gonna lie. At all the games this season, this is the only game I cared about. Why? Uh, Cause I'm from the Bay. And being from the Bay, if you know anything about this fucking rivalry, like it ain't no interconference shit. It's just like some shit that's just like, you know, when you got motherfuckers from the town and then they slide on some niggas from the city, it's always gonna be issues, bro, between these two teams. Always. So, this game was highlighted in the beginning of the season. What has happened this season? A bunch of fucking bullshit. That's what's happened this season. We fucking lost hella games. We lost 10 games. We officially out of playoff contention now. So we can shut that shit completely up now. Um... Motherfucking Renfro and Waller wasn't playing for hella long. And now the big thing that everybody been talking to me about and asking me about for about a fucking week now. Um, Derek Carr. Okay, they bitch Derek Carr. He leaves the team. He unfollows the team. He does all of this shit. All right. I'll tell y'all how I feel about Derek Carr. Y'all already know I'm a fan of Derek Carr. Y'all already know that that's my dog. And I give him constructive criticism when I need to. Like, like I'm a fan. I've been a fan since we got the motherfucker. But this, this last season, with all of these expectations and how things have not been working out with the whole Josh McDaniels experiment, I was ready for a change at quarterback. I was ready. I ain't gonna lie. I'm still ready. So with them benching him, does it, timing-wise, did it make sense to me? Absolutely not. Timing-wise, it made no fucking sense. Why? Because you're showing your cards right away, nigga. Like you, you're giving it up right away. You weren't even out of playoff contention. Carr could have still played in these last two games. But... I'm going to be honest as fuck with y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest with y'all right now, bro. Watching that game today. Watching Jared Stidham go out there and put up down there 500 yards on these motherfuckers. Hitting Devontae Adams on fade routes. I ain't seen a fucking fade route from Devontae all fucking season. I'm I'm a Derek Carr fan, and you know I wish him the best, bro. Wherever he goes, or whatever the fuck happens, um, once a Raider, always a Raider. You always get you earn that shit in my book. I'm never gonna disrespect a man like that, but um, I don't know if this is gonna be a hot take or not. But I don't think Derek Carr would have did that today. I'm not gonna call it. I, I'm not gonna cap with y'all, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Get in the comment sections and let me know if I'm smoking dope. I do not feel like Derek Carr would have fucking put up 34 points against that team. I've been watching this motherfucker all season like y'all. There were some things today that I saw out of Jared Stidham. And it's fucking insane. But why does it have to be insane, Raider Nation? Why do we have to think that it's insane that this motherfucker looks better than DC? Yeah, granted, first game, whatever. Gotta think, bro, this is the number one ranked defense. We wasn't out there playing against the Seahawks, motherfucker, or or or, or, or nobody. Like we were, we were playing against the number one ranked defense, and Jared Stidham looked like that. Wow. 
I, I'm going to call it, bro. I don't think DC would have done that. I don't think we would have even fucking made it to overtime with, the, with their car. 500 yards? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Get, like, again, get in the comment section and let me know am I tripping. I just don't see, I don't see a world where Derek Carr could have had a performance like that today against that defense. And please let me know if I'm wrong. But I don't think it would have happened if we had him out there. Yeah, we lost. We Overall, we still lost the game, so it doesn't fucking matter. But as far as what the promise and as far as what we're looking for, a spark. Y'all saw that fucking, y'all saw that damn stadium, bro. Breaking the pocket. Being able to get a few yards with your legs. Fucking extending the play by shaking off a couple motherfuckers. Does wonders. It does wonders for this fucking team, bro. And then Derek Carr just gonna stand in the motherfucking pocket and just pat the ball and just take hits. I don't think that's the, the formula, bro. I watched it along with the rest of the Raider Nation today. And we all saw what we saw together. Jared Stidham looks better than Derek Carr, bro. Jared Stidham looks a fucking hundred times better than Derek Carr. And go ahead and say it. It was his first game, whatever. Uh, shit. Shit. That motherfucker was moving out the pocket. Motherfucker, motherfucker had Joey Bosa and all of the motherfuckers draped on him. This motherfucker still completing passes and shit. Yo, Derek Carr would have folded like a mother... Bro, fresh laundry. Bro, he would have dropped the ball. He would have fucking threw that shit over somebody's head. Dumb shit. Dumb shit. Intentional grounding, motherfucker. Y'all ready to go back to that? So yeah, Derek Carr, you want to follow the Raiders? You want to follow it all in the motherfuckers? And I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna be a Raider next year. I'm pretty sure Derek Carr ain't gonna be a Raider next year. How do I feel about that? I have mixed feelings about it because I don't want. I, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of the whole Brady idea. I'm not a fan of the Brady getting back together with Josh McDaniels, and then we draft the quarterback to sit behind Brady for the last two years, and. I don't think I'm a fan of that, bro. I don't think I'm a fan of that. Why am I not a fan of that? Because our defense is fucking dick cheese. Dick cheese. Like, like bro, it, it, it's, it's been so many times where our defense was bailed out today. Just on some dumb miscommunication shit with their offense. We got lucky with a lot of those fucking punts and a lot of that shit, bro. Like... And and there was turnovers that we fucking missed that we couldn't that we that we didn't capitalize on. It's like yeah okay yeah we can go down here and score, but also understand you ain't stopping a fucking thing coming coming back this way. We need some pieces on that defense, man. Badly, I know we've all been saying this shit for a hell of long, for a hell of long, but that game. Just showed me, like, bro, we could have probably ran with Stidham. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. What if, bro? What if? What if? Just think, Raider Nation. What if? What if that was the answer all along? What if we had this motherfucker? Okay, yeah, we got Jared Stidham. He's just been sitting there this whole season. We need pieces for the defense, bro. I saw a competent quarterback out there today. Yes, he made some dumbass decisions. Yes, he threw some picks. But this is the number one ranked defense, and y'all saw what that man did today. Y'all saw how that crowd was rocking, bro. DC ain't had it popping like that in stupid long. Please, please show me when. Show me when the last time. Because what I seen today, yeah, granted, it was, it was the Niner and the Raider game, so... I'm, I'm pretty sure it was going to be lit, but you can tell, bro. It's a different feeling. It's a different emotion. It's like, okay, we got the ball. It's different. When I, knew, I, when I know that Derek Carr got the ball, 
and we on offense now, we about to go out here and try to make something happen, I got a feeling like I'm on the edge of my seat. Like, I don't know what the fuck this man about to do. I don't know if he going to fucking fumble the ball. I don't know if he going to throw a pick. I don't know nothing. But I noticed who was on offense today. I did not feel that way about Jared Sim. I did not feel that way. Pocket was, was collapsing. I still had faith. He was going to break out that shit and make something happen. Nine times out of ten, he fucking did. We saw it. I'm not just talking shit, Raider Nation. We all saw it, goddammit. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm just telling the truth. The motherfucker looks better than Ford, bro. I'm sorry. And I wish him the best, man, because like I told y'all a few videos before, I already know Derek Carr goes to the Jets or something like that where they got an actual culture and an actual defense and some shit going on. He could actually be a piece for somebody. He could be a piece for somebody. I'm not going to bash the motherfucker and be like, he's the worst quarterback in the league and all of that other crazy shit. I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm to get on that hyperbole train with y'all. That's not what I'm going to do. It's okay. You know, we all grown in this shit. Well, most of us is all grown in this shit, right? You know that? Do you understand that you were damn near an adult? But you don't know how to separate your feelings from being a fan of a fucking football team and Versus disrespecting the motherfucker when they gave, when they, they, yes, he did sacrifice his fucking time. He done took pay cuts. He did all of that shit. But also not forget, also, let's keep it a thousand. Let's, let's please understand this. We, 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 we just got to 2023. Happy New Year, all y'all. Happy holidays. Stay safe, all of that shit, right? Cool. What quarterback do you know since 2014? That ain't won a playoff game. Got $200 million contracts. And is still the starter for their team. And, and, and that team is promising as fuck. Like, like, okay, yeah, they just need this and they just need that and they're going. What, what quarterback do y'all know? What fucking player do y'all know that ain't that ain't did no shit like that, bro? Like, it, like, like yo, yeah, granted, it seems kind of fucked up how it all happened. But I'm also not... Dumb and blind to the fact of y'all. I know what we did with this dude. I know we paid him money. You know what I'm saying? I know we paid him. And and to cut the motherfucker because you don't want you don't want to you don't want to pay the 38 or the 40 mil if he gets hurt or whatever. That's some fucked up shit. But I at the end of the day, strategically, and a smart business move for the organization. That's a smart business move for the organization. I'm not gonna be mad. Do I agree with how it was done? No. 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 But again, I understand something different as well. Because if Derek Carr was starting today against the fucking 49ers, we probably would have got our asses reamed for fucking... It would have been 68 to fucking 3, bro. That's how I feel. I, I, like, I could be absolutely completely fucking wrong and... Just be bullshitting and just be talking out the side of my fucking neck right now. But if I was if I was a betting man, I would be willing to bet that Derek Carr is not gonna throw for over 500 yards and take that team to overtime. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I wouldn't do it. And it's wild because it's Jared Stidham. But um, hey, man, hey. What y'all want to do? Y'all want to cry or you want to win? I'm tired of crying. I want to fucking win. I got to deal with the fact that we lost to the fucking Niners again for the next four years. I'm not excited for that. But it is what it is. I ain't going to bitch about it. And we got a weak-ass team. Like a weak-ass team altogether. Like there's flashes and there's pieces there. But... This this team ain't all together, bro. It's not what it needs to be. So for them to even go out there and put up that kind of fight, I don't do more victories, but it definitely showed me something. It definitely did show me something. Like, bro, I, I think I think we all see what we need, bro. And we have been rocking with Derek Carr ever since 2014, but dog, it's time to go. It's time to go. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> I don't even give a fuck, Raider Nation. Uh, again, 
I love y'all, man. I hope y'all have a uh, happy new year and safe holidays and all of that shit with the family, turning up and doing a lot of that. Uh, the Raiders fall to 6-10. and 10. Officially out this playoff shit, so stop talking about it. And, um, yeah, yeah, let's move on to start talking about our offseason because that's what our organization does for us. So, um, while the rest of the NFL continues to play for something, we will be evaluating. Okay, so that's where I'm at with it. I'll see y'all on the next motherfucking video when we gotta when we gotta go at these motherfucking Chiefs. <sighs> but look, man, just pray, pray for us, Raider Nation, pray, just pray for us, please. I'll fuck with y'all, bro.